Hi guys, welcome to uh, our continuing tutorial of uh, the standard template library in C++ and um, today we'll be looking at maps. So I decided to skip over linked lists and stuff like that because in the, Im well, uh, it's different from a vector but in the ways of how you use it, it's very similar. So if you want to look up linked lists and everything like that, please go ahead, go to c cppreference.com or just Google it and you'll find a ton of stuff and you'll have a lot of fun reading it. But I decided to focus on maps because um, it's a pretty important subject uh, and it's a, it's a little bit different than a vector. And, s and then we'll do multi-maps which are even cooler. So let's um, start with an example because um, I love starting with examples. Um, and just declare map, oops, name space, I can't spell today, and our arguments for main, which are not necessary, oops, but it's good to memorize them once in a while. So here's our main function. Basically what a map is, uh, is it's a vector of keys and uh, uh, a vector of pairs. Each pair contains a key and a value. So what this means is that by using the key you can look up the value, which is kind of useful because if your value is a string with a thousand characters, you don't want to uh, compare a thousand characters of a string every single time. You can just compare the keys. Um, well, we'll get more into comparing keys into mul in multi-map, but for maps, well, let's just um, look at an example. So map, and it's a templated um, class, so we need to specify parameters. And so the first parameter is the key type, which is going to be an int in our case. And the second one is the value type, which is going to be a character pointer, just basically just a string, but C style string. And we're going to call it, um, let's see, just capital map, right? Or if you want to separate them, let's call it my map because that's easier. And so now we um, can do this: my map um, zero is equal to Charlie. So what I've done here is I've taken um, an element of my map, which I just created. And I said that my map with the key of zero is going to be equal to Charlie. So now I have one element in my my map that's uh, that's equal that has a key of zero and a value of Charlie. So now I can say um, let let's do this the fancy way with iterators because. Um, that's how the C++ library kind of wants you to do it. So we'll just declare an iterator and you hopefully know what those are from the vector tutorial. So my, uh, oops, map int char, so we have to declare the same type of iterator. And let's declare it constant because we're not changing the values. And we're going to just call it it, oops, let's put this in a for loop, right? So is equal to my map dot begin. You should be familiar with the begin function, right? Oh, it doesn't fit on one page. That's a bummer. Just, nope. I'll just kind of separate this into sentences or small chunks. And then it is not equal to my map dot end. So while we haven't reached the end of the map, uh, and just plus plus it will be our incrementation function and here's our for loop right so it will for it will loop over all of the elements and then we just uh, we use the cout function um, and we say uh, my map and then since uh, it is now holds a pointer to a pair right a pair of a value and um, a key. So to get the key from this pair, right, we want to say, um, let's see, we want to say it 
first. Oops. Come on. Here we go. And um, just some useful stuff. And then we have continuing on. So my map dot first, which is the key, uh, is equal to uh, it uh, second. Oops, second, which is going to be the va the actual value, right? And let's put an end of line at the end. So all we have right now is a for loop that runs over our map and says, well, let's just print out the whole map. And let's see it in action. Oh, well, I didn't make a pausing, s uh, anything to pause it at the end, so I'll just f fix that quickly. Uh, return zero. Here we go. Oops. So now it says my map zero is equal to Charlie. And if you want, we can make this, um, make you see this a little clearer. Yep. Like that. So my map zero is equal to Charlie. So, um, let's add another, another one. My map one is equal to Bob. So since we, our function uh, loops over the whole map, we don't have to update anything, and it will just print. It print will print out both of them now. And let's scale this down to a viewable area. And we have my map zero is equal to Charlie. My map one is equal to Bob. We can also do this um, in terms of we don't have to do this sequentially. You can say my map five is equal to um, Richard, right? And so now when we print it, we'll get my map zero is equal to uh, Charlie, my map one Bob, my map five is Richard. So now we can say before this, we can say that my map size is equal to, and guess what? There is a function called size. Isn't that convenient? Uh, so my map size is equal to my map dot size. And we get my map size equals three, and then we get the elements. So you see how it's convenient? It will get better. So also, in, instead of doing this, we can use another function called mymap.insert. And then we, we need to uh, insert a pair, right? So the, the, the pair is going to be uh, the same type as uh, the map holds, so int character pointer. And it's going to be made up of um, a key, say three, and then a type, say, I don't know, Jamie. Right? And now it will insert it into our map. And now we have map size equals four. And see how Jamie was kind of squeezed into there? Um, that's really convenient because. Uh, it auto fit it and auto sorted it by the key, so your your vector is always sorted by key, which is kind of nice. I mean, if you're dealing with telephone numbers or anything like that. Now you can also um, say say you want to insert uh, the first element. We'll, we'll call this the third element, right? We want to insert a first element. To make the insertion process a little quicker, what we could do is we could declare um, my map. Iter oops, my map uh, map into uh, character pointer uh, iterator hmm, insert. Say this is equal to my map dot begin. And uh, since we're going to insert this next to the beginning of the vector, we're just going to put begin as the first parameter to this uh, insert function what it will do is it will start looking at uh, the beginning at our iterator which we specified and it will shorten the time that it takes to insert this element um, so that's the first rundown on uh, maps and since I ran out of time in my 10 minutes um, I'll see you for the next one and have fun until then